Alrighty, so this is a double stacked hive that I've got. This one also hasn't been in in a while. We'll put a little smoke on them. Let me move these flames out here. That these are some frames I took out of another hive while ago. Alrighty, let's get to this one. Put a little smoke on the inside of them, just like the other one that I just did. This one hasn't been in in quite some time. Matter of fact, they started building comb on the inner cover. Give them a little bit of smoke, let them calm down just a minute. Look at that. Now I can just look at the top of this hive and tell them they are beasting it. When you got calm on top of a hive like this, as much as you probably hate to see it, you've got to clean it off. And I just clean it off and get it away from the hive because I don't have anything to put it in. So I'm throwing it just as far away from these hives as I can get them to try not to uh, get them to start uh, robbing hives out. There's a few bees getting caught up in this, but this should be all right. Now if I had something here to put this in, best case scenario would be put it in a box, like a five gallon, well a five gallon uh, bucket would be better, and uh, save it and melt it down later, but I don't have one with me, so we got to do what we got to do. So there we go. This over here on the inner cover, I'm not worried about it, I'd probably build it right back, but if they do, that's fine too. Try to get all the honey off of my hive tool so I don't get it all over me. Now some of y'all probably disagree with me doing what I just did, but that's the good thing about beekeeping. Everybody's got different ways of doing stuff. Now this is a frame of nothing but honey and I'm probably going to take it out and put it over there and take it home. Because you're going to be able to build back up. I've got an empty frame over here I'm putting honey in. And the reason why I'm taking honey out right now is because we're fixing to have a goldenrod bloom. And I'm gonna leave that honey for them. Look at that.
And another good thing about me taking these frames out, it's going to keep them from being honey bound and they're going to be less likely to swarm. I'm sorry for the camera angle. I know y'all get more of my back than anything else. And there's another frame of honey. With a little bit of nectar on the bottom. I'm probably going to leave this one. Yes, I did just rotate that frame. No, I don't think it really matters because it's a honey frame. We got eggs and larvae. We got eggs and larvae in this one too. We got a lot of drone brood in this hive too. We got eggs and larvae all through here. So we got a laying queen. Yeah, she's doing good on this frame. As you can see, the sun ain't out good, so you're probably not getting a whole lot of viewing of what's going on. But those are larvae and eggs and the bottom of those cells, and those are, that's worker brood. So, that's a pretty frame right there. More the same on this side. We got a, a false queen cup, so we're gonna go ahead and knock it back. If there was something in it, I probably wouldn't have done that. Got more eggs and larvae on this frame too. So this hive's beasting it pretty good. See, there's a queen cell there. I see there's nothing in it. If you can, it's at a wrong angle, you can't tell it, but there's nothing in that. If I have a hive that's got queen cells in it, I do not destroy them if there's stuff in it. What I do is try to figure out. I find the queen and I'll put her in another box, normally a five frame nuke or depending upon how strong the hive is, maybe another 10 frame box and I'll move them from their location because that hive's going to swarm. Even if you destroy the queen cells, they're still going to swarm. So all you're doing is destroying your hive and if you don't catch that swarm then you're not going, your hive probably will die out. That's my theory on it. There's probably other people out there going right now, no that's not true but that's, that's what's happened to me in the past. So we're gonna check this one more frame right here. And see what we got. Yeah. More of the same. And more of those faux queen cups. Now see if this hive was gonna get in preparing to swarm and I'm giving them more room, chances are they won't. Because they'll have room to grow and do other stuff. So here's another honey frame. And they got pollen on the bottom. I won't take this one. And 
here's another solid honey frame. I'll take this one to the house too. So since I've done that, what I'll do now is I'll pull this honey frame back up against the side. Just like that. Here's a wax or a plastic foundation that I put. I rubbed wax all over it. We'll see if that works out. I haven't seen anybody do that yet. I'm pretty sure somebody has. I don't know if I don't haven't seen it on a video on YouTube and see if that makes a difference because I have trouble with them drawing these out. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna checkerboard this hive. We took three frames of honey out, so we're gonna put three frames of foundation back in. And there we go. Put the top back on it. The main reason why they probably uh, built all over the, the inner cover like they did is because they run out of room. So, we're gonna put it back together and call this one a success. See how they were building on the end on the inner cover. I'm not the bees off of that and, and get it off. Just like that. And there we go. We're gonna put the top on it, strap it back down, and on to the next one. So thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you on the next one. Sorry about the uh Nothing but the back of my bee coat most of the uh, time.